So welcome to the first in a series of tutorials about kinetic typography. So I'll go ahead and show you kind of what I put together here. Smart heart, Mario Kart. Without art, we have nothing. So just a little cheesy thing that I put together to kind of show the basic motion and animation techniques we can use in After Effects to get your typography going. So let's go ahead and create this composition. So we'll go up to composition, new composition. I like working in HD because then you can output it and it looks, looks really good. Uh, we'll go with duration of 10 seconds, frame rate 29.97, hit OK. So now we have our new composition right here. We'll start off with our text layer. And so we have one piece that stays stationary, and that is the word art. We'll go ahead and scale that up, and you can scale with the same aspect ratio by holding shift as you drag the top left corner. So we'll move that over toward the middle, and now we can go ahead and create the other parts. So SM for smart, HE for heart, and Mario K for Mario Kart. And notice with that one I have the paragraph aligned to the right. If you don't have the same workspace as I do, you can always go to Window, check out Workspace, and you can add these different things throughout here. All right, so we have our main three things that we're gonna be moving into the picture. And so let's go ahead and hide the top two and just have it be smart for right now. And we'll scale this up, bring it over. So now we're going to make our first keyframe. So with the SM layer selected, hit P, that's gonna bring up position. Click the stopwatch to set a keyframe and then move ahead about 15 frames. Come over here to the left side, still with the SM layer selected, add another keyframe. Go back to the beginning, move it up and off the screen. You can hold shift to make sure that it's gonna go straight up. So now it comes down right next to art and we have our first movement done. So go ahead and move forward 15 more frames to one second. And we're going to add another keyframe. Move ahead 15 more frames and click and drag, holding shift to move it all the way down. And there we go. So if you scrub through that real quick, smart comes down and stops and then moves out of the frame once again. So the cool thing is that now you can select all four of those keyframes Hit Command C for a copy. Go up to HE, hit P, and we'll go to this third keyframe right here, and hit Command V, and that'll copy in those four keyframes. So now we'll just take a look. Up, oh, we gotta turn this layer back on. We can see that he is coming down into the frame just like SM did and we'll actually bring it down in there and then scale it up. All right, so now we have our first two movements done. Let's do the same thing to Mario K. So hit P on the third keyframe of the previous layer. Go ahead and hit Command V. And again, I forgot to add the, the visibility. So again, all we do is we bring it in. And actually what you're gonna have to do is move it up a little bit here because it is two lines of text. And then go ahead to the third and you'll have to move that up again as well. Something you can do to avoid changing the actual location of that first keyframe is to just take this Y value right here, 332 and then come over to this keyframe and type in 332 and that'll keep it right in the same spot and got to change this one also move that down and the first one as well all right so now we have mario kart in there also all right so basically there you go you have smart heart mario kart and that's pretty much the end of that portion. Now we'll go ahead and add the last little phrase without art. And so we're actually gonna leave space for that. 
We have nothing. Go ahead and paragraph align that all to the left. Scale it up. Scale it down. And this actually brings up a good point that I haven't gotten to yet, and that is changing the space between the lines or the line height. And over here on the right side is where you're going to be able to change that. And so if you have character open, and again, if you don't have the character box, go to window and then the character. Then over here, and you can adjust it right here. And we're going to increase it. That way now we can bring this in and that's gonna look pretty good so right now we haven't done anything to it so it's still in there uh, with that other text so what we want to do is we're just gonna fade this in so go ahead and click on the layer hit T for opacity hit the stopwatch move ahead 15 frames or however far you want hit opacity again so now you have your two keyframes. The first one, actually both are set to 100. So let's change that first one to zero. And now it's just gonna fade in. And so you can actually move art as well. So let's go ahead and take without, we have nothing, move it up there. And so what we wanna do is after Mario K gets out of there, so on that third keyframe, we're going to move art. Hit the stopwatch, create a keyframe. And then move it into place over here. Add the final opacity keyframe. And so now that's going to move up as it gets to this part. All right, so all of our motion is complete now. Smart, heart. Mario Kart. And I had a few things in there afterward, and that was a uh, Gaussian blur in the effects and presets. And basically all I did was on each individual layer, I changed the blurriness up to the top, and then at the keyframe where it's actually in, I changed it back to zero. And for blur dimensions, I had vertical on. But that's something you don't necessarily have to do. And I also added a gradient in later on to kind of give it a better color. So there you go, that's a basic overview of animating text with keyframes in After Effects.